May profits be upon you. We're going to take a look at gold. Let's look at the daily. What do I notice first? Price peaked here, right? And this is after a very bullish impulse to the upside where we broke these highs, all right? And uh, after a break of structure, what do you expect? A return to impulse. Price is making its way down for that return to impulse. We made it all the way down here. Now, now what happens? <laughs> That's the question, right? Uh, well, let's see. Let's take a close look at this price action here now. We see that we have broken structure to the downside, all right, after being up that high, all right? Uh, I'm looking at this in the context of a bullish market, okay? So when we see a pullback, I'm, always, I'm automatically looking at that as a potential setting of a higher low because we've cracked this high here, all right? We've made higher highs and higher lows all the way up. So why would I be looking for anything other than bullish setups? All right, yeah, we had a correction here. All right, but you just have to recognize that that is a correction. All right, and we have a nice little level here. If I can just mark it, we had a nice little level here where uh, we pulled down, price pulled back above it. We're dancing above the, this area, but this becomes the resistance turn support here, right? If you want to look at it in those terms. Okay, and uh, I like that. I like because it gives give some kind of clarity to the price action. What I'm noticing is from here, once it hit here, we see this rejection here, right? After this double bottom, what did we do here? What was accomplished here? We didn't take out the low. That's interesting, isn't it? Let's see if we took out this low. Did we take out that low? Did not. So we have, a liquidity pool resting right here, a big one, all right? So I'm gonna keep that in mind. Just, just marking that out and I want you to keep it in mind because price is gonna target these lows because there's a lot of stop losses for people who took longs, especially people who took this long, right? But I, I'm, I'm marking those areas because they're, they're gonna become important soon enough. Now, we have a big rejection here. This is the, the wick. Demand here, right? Price comes back and tests that wick demand. And because uh, we know that on a lower time frame, uh, we can see the price action very clearly that uh, this set up a bullish order block here and that we could see price, uh, you know, react and, and push up from here. And that's exactly what happened, all right? But what I want you to notice, what I want you to see is that after price made three pushes higher to get pat, to get to to make higher highs each time what do what 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 does that give us what kind of price action does that give us we see price make this push here okay you're not going to give me a line all right we see price make this push here we push a little higher we push a little higher three pushes all right in this zone right? High to the low, all right? We finally get a breakout. This is where I want you to pay attention. This is where I pay attention. This is where my uh, antenna goes up. We have a bearish engulfer here that took the low and the high of the previous candle. This is a strong bearish candle, all right? So I'm looking for price to come back up. As soon as that's made, I'm looking for price to come back up and test this a, a base candle of the bearish engulfing pattern. All right, price does come back up, test that. Why would it come up and test? Because it's formed a supply zone, okay? Price wants to come back, come back and mitigate those unmitigated zones of supply. Price trades right back into it, gives us a bearish reaction with this candle and we are bearish, okay? All right, this is 
after price breaks this low, right? One, making lower lows and lower highs here. Going to consolidation here, we have a bearish breakout taking out the closes of this low, but we see that we are in demand. Do I think price comes back and takes that low out, mitigates the 50% uh, mark of this, this zone of demand? Yes, I do. I do. Do I know when? No, I don't, but I, I believe that's coming. Okay, so we're going to the four hour now. If I can uh, navigate there. <laughs> Here we go. All right, and we're gonna take a closer look at this price action. Okay, uh, look at this. If we refine, if we refine uh, this zone up here, I want to see. I, I want to see how far we, we we've come. I'm just taking a peek at that eight hour, but on the four hour, uh, we have we have a, a zone here that has not been look like price could trade back into it, but didn't quite make it, and that's cool. All right, so I'm looking at that. Price could come up here, use this as inducement to get people to take shorts early, come back up one more time and then take it out. Then, then start taking out the, uh, 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 going towards um, continuing bearishly. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely looking at that. I'm also looking at what is, who's in control, supply or demand? Demand or supply? All right. Right now, because of the bearish order flow here, all right, this consolidation and then a break of structure to the downside. For me, for my money, supply is in control. And until I see supply giving way to demand, until I see demand giving way to supply, excuse me, I'm going to continue to look for short setups. And I'm looking for a short setup up here. We have a bearish engulfer. All right. I love, I like to see that at the points of mitigation. All right. And uh, we're in a, uh, a demand, I mean, a, um, a daily supply. So I'm looking for price to continue bearishly here. All right. I'm, look, I'm going to mark like I did here supply above and demand below. If uh, price starts to trade back into this demand, then you know uh, it's heading towards the sell side liquidity and we're gonna take that low and we're gonna mitigate further into this demand down here, all right? If price takes out uh, this high, it's not like it's violating some strong demand. I mean, strong supply, it's not. It's still within this demand, the, 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 the supply, the daily supply, all right? It could just be coming up to mitigate up here. And then we can, we can start crashing through here and going down further into to the midpoint of this daily uh, zone of demand. All right, we can refine this down a little bit more. Yeah, so I'm looking for demand. I'm looking for demand to give way so I can take uh, more supply, uh, more uh, sell setups. I'm just looking for sell setups, all right? We might get one here, we might get a nice little pullback and that would be cool. We can get a pullback up here uh, and, you know, respect that high, uh, take this uh, take this area of supply here in the wicks. And we might just uh, see these uh, to the downside. Some people are gonna look at this as a, uh, I'll show you. Hold on. Some people are going to look at these highs here and say, oh, those are relative eagle highs and stuff. Nah. We could see a sweep. We could see a sweep of these highs, but see, I already, aha, I already see a sweep here. All right. The only, I see a sweep here already. All right. This one already swept. We come down. We can come up and uh, mitigate here. And then, continue down. I'm looking for bearish setups. So 
this will be one of the areas I'm going to be looking at. Okay. All right. I'm doing it again, putting stuff up that I didn't have there before. <laughs> All right. And uh, I'm fixing it. All right. So I'm looking for a bearish setup here. If I don't get my, if I don't get the bearish price action here, which is no big deal, you know, the supply isn't hasn't accomplished much. It's not very valid. I, I like to see it breaks, break some highs and stuff. All right, but I could see this supply give, giving way, so we can get up here. All right, to the midpoint of this daily zone, and I can see this happening. Okay, if we break that high, if we break that high, of course my um, uh, this is my invalidation area. All right. If uh, we break that supply up there, do something like this. I'm waiting for the close above and I'll be looking for that zone, that last demand zone before it violated here. All right. And uh, if we return to that, I'm looking for a high probability trade to the upside because it's a demand, a, a, yeah, a demand to supply flip, all right? Or a supply to demand flip, excuse me. We'll break this supply here and I'll be looking for the demand to take the trade up. But we'll see if that situation happens. I'm looking for bearish price action now. I'll be looking here. Now I'll be looking here. You know, if it gets past this area, if price just starts to fall from here, then we already we already have our answer. I'm looking for price to eventually take out these lows because there's see these wicks here. Uh, that's just sell side liquidity, and I think price is going to target that sell side liquidity. Maybe we get the pullback first, so we can get a nice price, and then we can come back. Again, I'm going to use the fibs. from the swing high to the swing low, and we are well into the uh, disc, the premium of the premium price above the 50%, right? So we're already there. If we come low, come get a pullback, I don't think, I'm not, I, I don't think it's high probability that we'll go higher, but there's a chance because of the liquidity here, it, wanted, it can take another one, mitigate, an unmitigated zone of demand uh, of supply and then take it on down. I would love to see this scenario because it gives us a better price. But if it starts, if we don't get that, we get it here, that's fine too. All right. If we get it here and it just starts dropping, then I'll have to wait for a setup. And that setup would come after demand is taken out. All right. We can come past this, this, this these lows here and uh, pull back. And I'll, I would take that trade from up here. That'd be fine. If we break, violate this uh, zone of demand, I'll, I'll be looking for a pullback to continue down. That's all. I hope everybody gets what I just put out. I hope you enjoyed the, the, uh, the video. If you did, do me a favor, reach over to that like button, smack it, smack it. All right. And then, um, Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you can catch my updates and do leave a comment. How do you like this gold setup? Are you, are, do you trade gold exclusively? All right. And uh, did, did you find profit last week? Those are my questions to you. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Oh, do make sure I'm leaving, a, leaving it on your screen right now. Do make sure you check out the weekly outlook where I look at the individual futures of each, the futures of each currency, all right? So we can better detect the weakness and the strengths and putting the weak against the strong in the setups, uh, in the uh, Forex pairs so that we can trade accordingly, all right? I'm leaving it on your screen right now. Check it out.